hello Leo viewers so the last reading I did I got that someone cried out for love it's like you broke down crying or you just you prayed for love um you just you reach some sort of breakdown regarding you know your loneliness and your love life and I think that 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 um that you know that pain that that emotion that you know just letting yourself be, be vulnerable like that it, it put out a call for love it sent sent this sort of the energy was so strong that it sent out this signal in the universe and it's drawing your soulmate towards you or someone with very like a kindred spirit someone who's going through the same thing as you so what's the energy right now meditation forbidden oops sorry Focus reversed. Deceit. What comes after deceit? What is the inner, next energy after deceit? Movement reversed. Loyalty. Understanding. I think that you had some sort of block to love, but I feel like that block is being cleared up now because we have the energy of meditation and then we have forbidden. So I kind of see the forbidden card as saying you know, like something almost blocked you from being in that meditative energy, like something almost like blocked you from like meditating and being, you know, um, open and spiritual and, and being able to channel clearly. It's like you just weren't able to, to focus, um, something there might have been some some red cords uh connecting you and someone like an ex from your past that maybe you felt like you'd moved on from them but on a telepathic level maybe they were still draining your energy a little bit um like you felt like you let it go but this was still in your energy field for some reason so this could just be that they were trying to pull you back in or they were trying to um you know, you guys were just still picking up on each other's energy or emotions, or there was maybe unfinished karma there. Maybe there were some soul contracts that needed to end that haven't ended yet. Just some kind of energy where it's like they were kind of blocking you from your spiritual path. This could be someone too that maybe didn't like believe in the same stuff that you did. Maybe like religious differences. So maybe maybe something they said or did sort of got stuck in your head and blocked you from doing what you wanted to do in your life. Um... But I just see it more as like there was, because when you ask for love, you know, the universe sometimes has to remove, sometimes you get a tower moment after, you know, like the tower tarot card where it's just like overnight change, uh, chaos, just, just sudden change of events. And sometimes that energy comes in first before you get the love, because if you're asking for new energy, if you're asking for new love then anything that's blocking love has to be taken out of your life. So if you have an ex that you're still holding on to that's toxic, that's blocking you from your true love, then, you know, the universe has to come take that person out of your life. They have to, it's like someone asks for like, you know, um, for money or for a new job in abundance. And then a couple weeks later they get fired and they think like, oh my God, this is horrible. But it's like, well, the universe is kind of saying like this job is stagnant. It's keeping you numb. You're going in the same cycle again and again and again and again. So it's like you get fired and then you're forced to make that change. You're forced to start looking for new jobs because you weren't going to do it the subtle, natural, easy way. You know what I mean? So the universe kind of had to had to push you out of that stagnant job to um, to bring this this new job that you were asking for in. You know, and it's like the same with love. Sometimes it's just like all these things come to the surface that need to be healed, like things that we've suppressed. Um, toxic relationships come to an end. Um, you know, we, we kind of go through these, these serious life changes sometimes, uh, when we're, when we're asking for love, like right before the manifestation. So I feel like this is something that you thought you were over. And I'm not saying that you're not over it. I feel like consciously you are, but I feel like on like a deeper level, like mentally, like subconsciously, maybe there's something about this connection that's like still hurting you, like this, like deceit, like being lied to or cheated on or betrayed or whatever this person did to you. It's like, it's like it's still messed with you mentally, even even if you feel like you're over the person. It's like maybe this 
something they said or did or just what happened in this connection. Maybe it was just so shocking and upsetting that it's like, it's maybe um, created a certain belief inside of you that's sort of blocked love from coming to you or it's just like that energy is kind of clung on to you without you realizing it. Um, so this is being cleared up. And again, it could also just be like the red cords that you have between yourself and this person. It's like maybe the, those need to be cut. Maybe they're still picking up on your energy and you're picking up on theirs. But it's almost like they've been blocking you from focusing, from, um, you know, from meditating, from being able to, to get in touch with your inner voice, you know, and this is a situation that's not moving forward. It's a situation that, you know, is over. It's stagnant. But I think you're coming out of this. I feel like you're becoming aware of this and becoming more loyal to yourself. And you're reaching like this, this understanding of why things had to happen the way that they did. Like you're reaching this sort of new perspective shift and um, clearing this energy out. But this is something that has that has been keeping you trapped, that has been blocking you from love. But, but again, I think you're becoming aware of this. And so whatever this energy is, I feel like you're clearing it out of your... Um, yeah, it's something that just made you insecure, feel, you know, ugly and wanted, worthless. It's just something that kind of messed with your self-esteem because of what this person did or didn't do. And um, yeah, it's been keeping you trapped. I feel like it's been keeping you like in this sort of numb state, um, sort of stagnant, sort of uh, not able to see the bigger picture, just sort of like on this, this merry-go-round with someone. And again, you could totally be over them, but maybe it's just like you developed a pattern based on what happened with that person. You know what I mean? Like you took that into your new relationships and kept repeating a certain pattern that you had with them, like having to chase people instead of just being loved naturally as you are, like that kind of thing. So I think now you're becoming more more introspective and more conscious of this energy. So you're clearing this up. But I think that this had to come to the surface to be healed. And I think that's what's happening now. Um, could be an earth sign too. Or just saying, you know, you need to be stable and grounded right now as you get through this. And there's hope. Yeah, there's hope. This just needs to be cleared out, though, because it's been keeping you trapped. So, yeah, for you to be able to take this risk, you're going to have to, like, push, step out of your comfort zone. Um, and there could be uh, someone taking a risk towards you, actually, with the upcoming fuller new moon cycle. And um, I feel like this is also just saying that this, this upcoming moon cycle is going to have this energy about it for... Uh, for drastic change, for, you know, stepping out of your comfort zone. There's a lot of psychic energy around you right now that you can use to your advantage. You can pull that energy in and sort of use it to help push yourself out of your comfort zone and get things flowing again. And, you know, figure out what this energy is because you probably know what this energy is already. So figure out what this is and clear it up. You know, some of you, it's like journaling or, or, or cord cutting or whatever you need to do, but it's like clear this energy out because it's been keeping you stagnant and it's been blocking you from love. And again, it could be a belief. It could be a particular belief. Like, like if someone cheated on you, now you believe that, you know, everyone's going to cheat on you and everyone's going to, you know, uh, um, other men or other women are always going to be better than you, or they're always going to, you know, your person's always going to choose someone else in the end. Like, think about what belief you might have from whatever this, this connection was that really hurt you deeply. Think about what kind of um, subconscious beliefs you might have now as a result of that. Things that might have stuck in your head that they said or did, or just patterns that you developed based on, on this connection. And really work on, um, like, redoing those, like, like, you know, seeing the bigger picture, um, clearing this energy up. And it doesn't mean like suppressing it. Like I'm not telling you to suppress it at all. I'm just saying to, um, look, try to look at it differently. Like, okay, this person cheated on me and this was horrible. This wasn't okay that they did it, but I'm going to break this pattern now. And I know that not everyone is going to cheat on me. I just need to be a little bit more careful next time. And maybe, um, more balanced and maybe not trust them quite as much so early on and, and, um, you know, kind of try to figure things out from there. So it's not saying to just be positive and just like, oh, everything's fine, but it's, it's saying to, to stop suppressing this and to let it come to the surface so it can be looked at and healed. And so maybe you can change that belief pattern or that's that belief system or whatever that thought is that it's like this certain thought planted a seed inside of you that kind of grew and then it ended up being a block towards love coming. It ended up blocking you from love. Like, think about it. Were you in a phase where it's like you were attracting love so easily, like you had multiple potential partners, but then after this person, it's like there's just no one around. 
Think about what that might be from. Think about what belief you might have based on this connection with that person. You know what I mean? Um, like really, really be introspective right now and figure this energy out. And um, again, definitely not telling you to like suppress it or pretend like it's not there or anything of that sort. I'm just saying, um, you know, let it come to the surface and maybe like write about it and just try to think of, of um, like just revising that belief you know what I mean so that there's more of a balance between like a, a good balance between dark and light not just like oh it's fine that happened to me whatever no not I'm not saying that like it's it's not okay that that happened to you but it's like find a balance like know that don't don't think in extremes like black and white like either everyone's gonna cheat on me or no one's gonna cheat on me you know don't think like that it's like some people cheat and some people won't cheat there's a lot of different people all different kinds of people out there. Maybe you need to date someone that's not your usual type. You know what I mean? Just like having that balanced perspective, you know, balancing the positive and the negative, balancing the, the dark and the light. And, um, you know, really pushing yourself out of your comfort zone and trying to see things from a higher perspective too. Because I feel like this energy is just something that really needs to be cleared up right now um, to bring love in. You got success here too. Playful, yeah, you're going to get, I feel like after you do this introspective work, you're going to get in like a playful energy where you're going to meet someone who's intuitive like you are. And you're going to be using your intuition to manifest this person. I feel like this is like that one final battle though. you got to clear this energy up first because this has been creating a stagnant energy in your life. So you really need to get rid of this energy, whatever it is. But then you've got, yeah, you have someone like that's watching you now or going to be watching you because we got choosing their words wisely planning their approach pause reflection rest so it's like someone kind of pausing to watch you like like figuring things out figuring out how to approach you so this could be someone new or it could be someone in your energy field that you're about to meet soon but again this energy this other energy needs to be cleared up so that you can get rid of this block so that you can so that love can come in easily um, and if this is resonating, I also do paid private readings. My email address is in the description box below. So just send me an email and I can do a reading for you. Divine intervention, synchronicity. Yeah, someone might have been watching you for a while and maybe they hesitated to reach out and maybe they're being pushed to do so now. And I feel like they feel like just two different stories here. So for some of you, I feel like. This is someone that's been kind of watching you on social media or like out in public. Like maybe you go to the same like coffee shop or grocery store or like they're like a neighbor or something like that. Like someone who's kind of noticed you, but maybe they're like a little bit shy and they don't know you well enough to approach you. But maybe they're feeling that energy. Like they're feeling that you're lonely too. It's like a kindred spirit. Like they're feeling that you're lonely, that you want love too. Like they're feeling some kind of, like they just have a good feeling about you. Like they just feel some kind of connection even though they don't know you that well yet. It's like that you're both very empathic and very intuitive. This person has like a very sweet, gentle kind of energy about them. So it's like you're just, maybe you're just very friendly or very sweet. And so it's like they just get that really good energy about you, like from you. You know what I mean? Like they have a lot of, um, like just intuitively, they feel good about this connection. And then um, for others of you, this is someone that you haven't, that you don't know yet, that you haven't even met yet, but it's like they feel your energy, but they haven't um, met you physically yet. And it's like everything is just kind of coming in, like the divine is working on this behind the scenes to bring this connection together. But like I said, right now, you really just want to focus on releasing that block. And it doesn't have to be like something that takes a long, long time to release. I think that you just need to identify it and you need to change the pattern. You know what I mean? Like it could be something very simple, like all people are going to cheat on me. Okay, how about, you know, you change that. Like some people will cheat, some people won't. So next relationship, I'm going to have more of a balance. Like try to, you know what I mean? Like there's something about that past connection that gave you like a very unbalanced perspective when it comes to relationships. So that needs to be fixed so that, um, you know, you can manifest this love. And it's body language too, because sometimes it's not just like intuitive and psychic blocks. It's it's body language too, because sometimes when you've been hurt a lot, you can sabotage relationships or you can kind of push people away, like kind of like maybe not smile when you're out in public, like kind of be kind of guarded and cold, but not even realize that you're doing it, but it's just from being hurt so much. You know what I mean? So it's like being more mindful of your patterns and your energy and your body language and your actions and words and all of those things and getting into alignment with, with love, with manifesting the love that you're asking for. 
So, so yeah, this is either someone that's been watching you, but kind of too shy, but the divine is pushing them to come forward and take this risk for love. Um, bold gesture, choosing love over fear. So even though this is like a shy, sweet, kind of innocent type of person, the divine is pushing them to reach out to you and make some kind of effort. Um, or again, this could be someone new that's coming in and maybe they're going to be put, they're going to like, maybe you're going to meet them suddenly and it's like the divine is going to push them to ask for your phone number or like say something to you and it's going to be kind of like awkward, but like they might catch themselves, you know, making a move that they didn't expect to make. Courage, assertiveness, motivation for it, movement. Yeah. Anything else we can say about this connection really quick? Dreams, visions, telepathy. So, so you guys are already connecting in the higher realms. Beauty, mystery, enchantment. You guys are already telepathically connecting. Whether you know them or not yet, you're already like telepathically connecting. Just don't overthink it and don't overanalyze and don't sabotage it. Don't doubt it. You know what I mean? Like, don't, you have that, like, codependency to, like, a certain, like, to sabotaging or, like, to a certain way of thinking or being. So you got to get past that and set yourself free. You need that freedom. You need that, you need to be more open-minded. You need to get out of that energy that's been holding you back. Yeah, because it's been keeping you stagnant, whatever it is. Oops, sorry. I can't see these, can you? <laughs> yeah, because once, once you get out of the stagnant energy, it's going to, like, come just pouring through all at once, you know? It's going to it's gonna move fast, fast-moving energy, um, sudden turn of events, hidden truth coming out. Yeah, once this hidden truth comes out and you face it, take off the mask and be your true, authentic self, you're going to start drawing in the person that's going to resonate with that energy. You've been wearing a mask and not even realizing that you're wearing a mask. So now that you're aware of it, it's like take that mask off, look at it, you know, decipher it, you know, change this pattern and um, be your true, authentic self. And that's what's going to draw this person towards you. Yeah, and you're going to have passion and romance with this person. I get a very sweet, gentle, loving energy with this person. Very, like, almost, like, the kind of person you want to protect from the world. Like, very, you know, always sees the good in people. Like, always tries to do the right thing. Like, very honorable, very stable, very, um, very loyal, very, very, like, trustworthy kind of energy. Maybe not your usual type. This might be someone that you would usually friend zone. And that could be why they feel shy around you, too, because maybe it's, like, you haven't fully given them a chance yet because it's like not someone that you would normally go for. But um, like if you talk to them, you would start being attracted to them more and more. So so yeah, it's either someone that's been watching you and they're they're thinking about making a move to come in, or it's someone that um that hasn't made a move yet, but it's like they are sorry, or someone that you haven't met yet. But um, but it'll be moving quickly, I feel, once they do come in. Yeah, because you're manifesting this now through your intentions and you need to stop doubting your, you you doubt your magic a lot. You doubt your abilities a lot. You doubt your the power of your intentions a lot. So stop doubting and, and really get in tune with your magic and reclaim your power. And then you're going to have this with this person, you know, traveling possibly. Uh, maybe they might live in another state. It's possible too. We have adventure, honeymoon, vacation. So like this just new, free-spirited, exciting, just loving energy. It's really good. Um, and like I said, I get a very gentle, very kind of grounded, loving vibe, possibly even an earth sign um, from this person, someone who's just, yeah, they're, they're very down to earth, very, very humble kind of person. So, so yeah, I hope this resonates. Um, if it does, like I said, I, I do private readings. My email is below and um, subscribe if it resonates, please. And any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. My PayPal link is also below. Thank you.